baby alien was in here. Come here, little father. Hey, baby. That's the L of the L. Boy, your girl get smacked by that. <laughs> that's the biggest L of the L. It ain't funny though, but still, that's on him. He I heard this story about the lady who was sleeping in the bed with a snake. Took him to the vet, and she said he stopped eating. He started feeling bad for him. The vet says, "Has your snake been been cuddling up to you more lately?" She said. Yeah, it, it sure has. It's just so sad. And the vet said, the snake is not getting close to you because it's lonely. It's been watching you when you were asleep, sizing you up to find out how much it's gonna take to eat you. And see, that's why you gotta be careful because some people will get close to you. And you'll be up here talking about, oh, they just love me, I got me a new friend. And you don't know they sizing you up to find out how much effort it's gonna take to swallow you whole. I ain't gonna lie, gang. Our generation so fucked up. We losing too many people. Everybody dying. Everybody on fucking drugs. It's men and women on the internet arguing right now, talking about bad relationship advice. Smoking and drinking is the new fun. Nowadays, people don't want to work. They'd rather be fucking lazy and have everything handed to them. And the people who do have jobs are being called broke by the people who don't have jobs. The rainbow flag mafia is getting more notarized than ever before. Being a slut in the hole is the new norm. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're not a sex worker, I guess you lame now. People are more weird than ever before. If you don't do half the shit people do nowadays, you consider lame. You can't speak or stand up for yourself anymore. You can't have an opinion on things anymore. People are way sensitive than ever. And then on top of that, people rather socialize on the internet than rather socialize in person. What has this world come to? How do you love really feel about you? Tell them no. When they look at you, they not looking at you seeing everything you went through and what you became. When they look at you, they see everything that they're not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I look at you, I see everything that I'm not. Yeah. I don't have nothing to live for, nothing to lose. And if you tell me no, it's like, if you know me, you owe me. Mm -hmm. If you know me, you owe me. Mm -hmm. And because I look at you and see that you everything that I'm not, I you. Mm -hmm. About now. They'll you. They'll stay well at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk my 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 this disrespect is getting worse and worse right before i get into a story let me tell you this right, real, real quick young brothers older brothers sometimes you will get with a woman that lose all respect for you all right and that that turns into sexless marriages sometimes it turns into disrespect and what a lot of guys want to try to do is to make it work through that. Unfortunately, what I have found out, it'll be something you did, cheating, lying, or you just, you just, you just, you know, lost your edge with her. Um, Just leave before she destroy you completely because really she wants you to leave. A woman sometimes wants you to leave, but she don't want to be the one to break up with you. She wants you to leave. She wants you to say it. Ever been at a job where they really don't want to fire you, but they really want you to go? That's how it is with some of these ladies. These women want y'all to leave, some of them, but you don't want to. You want to stay there and take the abuse, like Will Smith. She want that man to leave. So when you don't want to leave, they're going to terrorize you while you stay, and they're going to make every day of your life a living hell until you That's either. That's a fact, but at the end of the day, when I look at this situation, like, I, tell, I blame Joe. You feel me? Because apparently that chick was a porn star. You feel what I'm saying? When he got with her, and he tried to change her. So obviously, she, you can't, you feel me, switch. You can't change nobody. You got to take them for who they are, who that person was when you got with that person. You feel me? You should have you uh, understood that that person is going to be that person. You can't change nobody. You're not God, bro. You feel me? So if you wanted a good girl, he should have got with a good girl. Joe Smith... You messed up. Now she out here smashing alien boys and stuff. Like, you feel me? I don't know what, fam. I don't know if that was real if she really smashed dude or not. Y'all gonna have to tell me because even if she did, I don't want to see the video. I don't want to see it. So if she did, that's wild. But I think she really smashed alien boy. You feel me? That's got to be the most embarrassing thing on the planet. 
But hey, man, y'all get y'all some whiskey. We got this late night special. Some whiskey, whatever it is you drink. Come in. Hey, we're going to watch this together, man. Leave. Whatever you're going to do. They want you to go. Jump Kelvin Wesley show. And I'm going to play this clip because she disrespected that guy so bad. And then I'm going to come back. It's up to you, first and foremost, to not post those things. And once you put them up there, now you have to deal with it. And that, that's what's happening right now. You're dealing with it. And he has to publicly deal with it. When he tried to talk to you about it, this conversation should have been in the home, but you went public. Why? Why, why did you say, I want to reveal to the whole world, not just my being upset and angry. He's a six foot ten black man. So I'm not only just going to show him being angry. I want the world to know about our issue. And now when the world wants to know about it, it's, it's like you're upset about it. You don't want to talk about it. But you brought this to the world because at that moment you felt like you were right in what you did. Now the world's saying you're wrong and it's, it's, it's not looking like you thought it would look. You, they're actually more so understanding what Joe's going through. Well, then someone needs to help him then. Shaq, can you get a Papa John's? <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> Kiss, that was wrong. Joe? This seat, but you gotta realize this is the type of woman he chose. She blatantly disrespected him because she ain't got no respect for him. You feel me? But that didn't just start now. That been going on. He allowed that to happen. This man should have never been with this woman in the first place, man. That's what I'm trying to teach. Show you guys as well. Be careful the women you choose, man. Joe. What was wrong about that? All right, so if you're saying it helps you come from anybody outside of your husband, that is that is saying that you don't trust him. It's saying that you don't believe in him anymore. So he's your provider. If you trust him in that, and if he is, if, when he's not the provider, you as the wife if, is his help me. So when he's not the provider, you help to. He hunts, you have the garden. When he can't hunt, he gets injured, y'all have the garden, right? Right. Of course, it ain't, it ain't as plentiful I'm just sorry, to get off the garden. He's always injured, Kevin. I but think if that's still the I'm man you married, so if you want, that's still the man you married. Kevin, I think you should probably go find your friend mm -hmm. and talk to him because he needs counseling. He needs you, to become you, the man we, that you, you are. You both need that. Because you have several lives that you are maintaining and holding down. But if I couldn't and, talk to him, but you wouldn't be you able to have there's a respect that you earn from them because you've been holding them down. You showed them the man that you are. Yes, ma'am. I've not seen that yet. So, as you know, the wife of Joe Smith is on OnlyFans. She's been complaining about this dude is broke. He won't take care of her. Ain't got no hustle. She used to be a star, but I want you guys to watch this clip. I heard baby alien was in here. Come here, little follow you. Hey, baby. That's the elity of where your girl gets smacked by that. <laughs> that's the biggest elity. It ain't funny though, but still, that's on him. He know what type of woman he was with, bro. Look at this, man. She with baby alien. And, and and the fact that she would even do that shows you what type of soul she got. She ain't got shit. Bro, should you'll do that for some money. You feel me? And I'm thinking he writes just smacked her. Oh, that's wild, boy. Hey, baby. I'm ready for that. Yeah, you ready for that? Of course. Yo, I know this is a I can't believe it. All right, guys, so you saw the clip, right? This guy, alien baby, is an adult star she's about to go back huh, to doing adult videos in the bus she's sleeping with other guys on camera again on the bus all this dude is doing is walking out of interviews he won't leave her and she wants to push this man to the edge she don't care about what he says don't care about what he does and she's lost she she wants the relationship to be over but she would love she would rather torture him now a woman can torture you and still have sex with you. A woman can torture you and still have sex with you. Yes, y'all, y'all, y'all forgot that part. All right. Sometimes it's sex as a marriage, but a lot of times it ain't. You think Will Smith and Jada Pickett don't have sex? Probably love having sex with him. Enjoy is it? Don't respect you though. See, because if good sex could could, could make women act right, I'm, I'm gonna tell you how good sex can't make nobody act right. Look at the problems in in, in the black community. 
all around the world. Black people good at what they do in the bedroom. Let everybody tell it. Oh, th if that's one thing, black black men especially, we we pride ourselves being able to slang that thing. Ain't that what all, all these other races say about you? When you show up, girl, they can poke a hole in you, all kind of stuff, right? But you, but 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 your women don't even respect you, and you're doing all that stuff in the bedroom, which means that that ain't what the cure is. Because if that was the case, every brother who was pounding out would have all kind of submission. Submission don't come from no goddamn bedroom. It come from being the kind of man you are. And Joe Smith might have been putting it down in the bedroom. She probably loved what he do in the bedroom, to be honest. That's probably why she ain't left all the way yet. She loved, But listen, she gonna make that man suffer because he's not being a man. He not being a leader. And she said the same thing. Look, you take care of your wives. You're a man of respect. He ain't no man of respect. And some of y'all, y'all y'all gotta understand the point. Once you lose their respect, bro, you could be a working man and a good man. Stop trying to think about what it was like when you first met her. Oh man, it was good in the beginning. Well, well shoot, yeah, the dollar was also good in, in 1983. <laughs> okay, yeah, the PayPal was booming in 2020, 2020, 2010, you know? It used to be a lot of money on YouTube in 2015. I remember them times, but them ain't the same times we talking about right now, is it? No, no. A lot of men keep looking to the past for the woman to be something like that again, so you out there suffering. That woman ain't the same woman you dealing with no more because of what y'all done been through, all right? So she ain't gonna never be like she was when you met her because you done been through something, you done made some mistakes, and she done made some mistakes. Once she get to the point where it's that disrespectful, get rid of her quick, because all she gonna do is drive you to doing something real bad or she gonna do something bad to you. It's better let her go, because she's about to take you down the path where your life is about to be destroyed. This woman is about to destroy her own life right now. And his too. And I'll be damned if I let somebody destroy my life. No, 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 no. What you're about to do is get the <laughs> get the hell up out of here. Get them women out your place. They don't want to do the right thing. Get them out of there. Why are they there? I don't care if you made a mistake. She don't want to forgive you. She don't want to act right. Get her out of there. Quickly, fast, in a hurry. Get, get her out your place. She don't want to do what you need her to do. She don't want to respect you. Let her go respect somebody else. Everybody got time sitting there arguing with her, begging her to act right. You don't want to be her. Go. Go. She'll be back. You probably won't want her then, and you shouldn't. But if you keep on staying around hoping things don't get better, ain't nothing going to get better. When, it, when a woman loses respect for you, ain't nothing going to get better, dog. It's over. Oh, the first me. thing you can do is get her out quick. So when you start getting the sexist marriages, especially that, don't want to don't wanna let, don't want to give it up, get her out of there. Get her out of there. Are you go. Counseling, no. You come back when you're ready because you ain't going to go to the counseling with the next guy. That's the truth. The next guy, all of a sudden, all their stuff work now. Ain't that something? They meet the next guy on the first night because that guy ain't been through the same thing she been with you. That's why. And you mad about it. Well, I'm doing all this stuff for her. Why? Because y'all done been through something. So let her go and destroy somebody else's life. And you go, hopefully you don't destroy somebody else's life. You'll be accountable for what happened because she probably won't. She gonna be blaming her relationship on you, but don't worry, the next guy, the next guy, it'll still be her. Trust me. So guys, what do you think you should well should do, Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of a Celebrity Junk. Pretty far you do, Celebrity Bell? We're out. That's crazy that ba Baby Alien righteously smashed that, bro. I ain't even gonna cap to you, bro. Wait, I'm finna look up, I'm finna look it up right now and see if she, I ain't gonna look at the video. I just wanna see if it's a real video, you feel me? I'm finna see if it's real, bro. I'm gonna type in Baby Alien, smash, Gonna type it in. Wait, hold up, baby alien. Uh, jokes. All right. Oh snap! They got a video. Wait, hold up. It ain't pop up yet. It ain't pop up yet. I want to see if like this uh, real, bro. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know if it's real right now. Some of y'all probably already seen it. Some of y'all already seen him. If, if that's real, bro, that's wild, bro. I'm telling you. That's wild, bro. Well, it ain't uh popping up on Google, so it may not be real. You feel me? I don't know for sure. That's something y'all gonna have to let me know if it's real in the comments, man. Hey, thank you guys for watching the video. I'm gonna see you guys next video. Let's get it.